Hello all, this is Anish with you. Welcome to my channel. In this ASP.NET Core tutorial, we will see how to add sorting feature to a CRUD application. You might have seen many videos about sorting, but this one is unique because I have used object oriented methods to do this sorting program. In here, I have moved all the sorting related code to the separate DLL named tools. This tools DLL can be shared by any number of projects and make use of this sorting program. Let's see the demo of the application which we are going to make. This is the part 3 of the project inventory manager. This is the listing screen of the unit module. In the last video we saw how to make this module. Now I have added the sorting feature to this module. Let's see the demo of the sorting feature. Let's click the name column head. Notice the lists are getting sorted by the name column and if we click the name column again then the list is getting sorted in the reverse. I mean if the list is sorted by ascending then the list will get sorted by descending. Likewise when we click the description column head the list is getting sorted by the description column. And then I have converted this sorting program as a separate class library DL and referenced to my DB first CRUD. Let's see the sorting functionality of my DB first CRUD. This customer listing page has 5 columns and can be sorted by any column. See, I am able to sort by any column by clicking on its head. If you watch this video completely, you can learn how to add sorting feature to a CRUD application, then how to add sorting feature to a repository CRUD application, then how to move the common functionalities to a separate program and reference that program in many projects and many more. I request you to watch this video patiently. Definitely you will like it. If you are following on this series, you might know that we are using the repository pattern for this project. In case if you are joining just now, no worries, welcome to my channel. This sorting program is designed in such a way that it is easily attachable to any CRUD application with or without repository and it is very easy to implement. Let's start. Open the unit.cs file from the models folder. In the unit.cs, add a public enum named sort order. This enum will have two constant values named ascending order and descending order. I have assigned 0 to ascending order and 1 to descending order. This enum is very important because we are going to use this enum throughout our sorting program. And then open the iunit.cs interface file. In the getItems method of iunit.cs file, first add a parameter named sort property of type string. And then add the second parameter named sort order of type sort order enum. Now Copy the parameters from the getItems method and open the unit repository.cs. And then locate the getItems method in the unit repository.cs and in the getItems method paste the copied parameters. Then in the getItems method after the first line add a if condition. This if condition is added to check is the sort property is equals to name. Inside this if condition add one more if condition. We call this if condition as child if. This child if is added to check is the sort order equals to ascending order or descending order. If the sort order is equals to ascending order then assign unit equals to units dot order by lambda expression n dot name dot to list. In here actually we are sorting the unit list by name property. Then copy the sorting code of the if condition and paste it to the else part of the if condition. Then change the order by class to order by descending. In here we are sorting the list by the name property in the descending order. Now Add the else part portion for the parent if. I have boxed the parent if in the green color. Then 
copy all the code of the if block which is boxed in the green color and paste them to the else part of the parent if. Now in the parent else part in the pasted code change the lambda expression inside order by and order by descending brackets to d lambda d dot description. We are done with the unit repository and I unit interface. Let's open the unit controller. In the index method of the unit controller add a parameter named sort expression of type string. And then inside the index method add a case switch block and pass the parameter sort expression dot to lower to the switch block. Now inside the switch block add the first case condition name underscore desc which is the short form of the descending order. Make sure all letters are in the lower case because we are passing the sort expression converted to its lower case. Oh my goodness I forgot to add the local variable declaration. So let's declare two variables first one of type enum sort order named sort order and the second variable of type string and named sort property. Then come back to the case condition name underscore descending. In here assign the variable sort order to sort order dot descending and assign the variable sort property to name then add a break statement. Now the first case condition is done. Then add the second case condition. Here we are adding the description property to the case statement. I mean the user wants to sort the units by the description property. Now copy all codes from the first case block and paste them below the description case condition. In here the user wants to sort the units by the description property. So change the sort order to sort order dot ascending and change the sort property to description. Next copy all codes from the description case block and paste them below. Now change the word description to description underscore desc from the pasted code. Then change the sort order to the sort order dot descending. Now add the default case condition. This default case block will get hit when none of the case conditions are met. Then copy all code from the name underscore desc case block and paste them to the default case block. And change the sort order to sort order dot descending in the default case block. Now notice the unit fetching code which is boxed in the green. This code uses the get items method from the unit repository. You can see the error indicator below the get items method. This error comes because the get items method now requires the parameters sort property and sort order to be passed. Let's pass the variables named sort order and sort property as the parameters to the get items method. And then Add view data variable named sort param name and assign it to blank string. Already seen the use of view data and view back in our ASP.NET introduction tutorial. Just for a recap, in short, view data is just used to pass the data from controller to view. After that, copy the sort param name view data variable and paste it below. Now change the variable name to sort param desc. Please note that this DESC is a short form of description and not descending order. Then copy the view data variables and paste them inside the name underscore DESC case block and assign the sort param name view data variable to name and delete the sort param DESC view data variable. Now copy the sort param DESC view data variable and paste it to the description case block. And then copy the word description and assign to the view data variable sort param desc and add underscore desc to the word description. This is very important logic, so please pay attention. We have assigned the sort property to description and sort order to ascending. 
but we are assigning the description underscore DESC to the view data variable sort param DESC. This is because if the user clicks the description again, then the list will get sorted by the description property in the descending order. Then copy the view data variable named sort param DESC from the description case block and paste it to the description underscore DESC block. Then Delete the word DESC from the view data variable sort param DESC and then go to the default case condition and copy the view data variable sort param name from the case block name underscore DESC and paste it to the default case block and then add the underscore DESC to the pasted code. This is the complete sorting code. In case if you want to take screenshot, please go ahead. Now let's open the index.cshtml from the units folder inside views folder. In the table head row above the model.name column head, add an anchor tag element with asp-action tag helper equals to index and asp-route-sort expression equals to view data of sort param name. I just copied the view data variable from the controller to avoid spelling mistakes and then close the anchor tag. Then build and run the application. Click the units menu to load the unit listing screen. Notice that the units listing screen is sorted by name property. This is because we have put name as the sort expression if the sort expression is blank and when the listing page is loaded by clicking the units menu it will have the sort expression equals to blank string. I mean the code inside the default case block will get executed which is boxed red in color. When we click the name property head it gets sorted by descending order and when we click again on the same property head I mean on the name property head it gets sorted in the ascending order. Now we want to apply the sort expression to the description column also. So copy the anchor tag from the name column and paste it above the description column and close the anchor tag. And then change the view data variable to sort param DESC. Now our application is ready to sort by description column also. Let's build and run the application. Click the units menu and notice now our units listing page has anchor tag in the column headings of both name and description column. So we can sort the list by any of the columns. Let's click on the description column head. No, sorting failed I guess. Something went wrong. No worries, we can fix it. Errors comes to get fixed. So let's see what mistake we did. I mean what I did. Yes, I found it. Actually, we have to set default values for the view data variables sort param name and sort param DESC. Now we have set the default values to the view data variables. So let's build and run the application. Click the description anchor and name anchor few times. Notice the sorting is working perfectly as expected. So finally we made error free sorting program. So the next challenge is to add the icons near to the sorted column heads. Stop the debugging of application and open the unitcontroller.cs. Add two more view data variables to hold the sort icons path or class and name the variables name as sort icon name and sort icon DESC. Set default value of empty string to both the sort icon variables. Earlier Bootstrap was giving glyp icons free until Bootstrap 3.x but from bootstrap 4.0 it has stopped the glyp icons but no worries we have alternate for glyp icons. Font Awesome is a website give free fonts and free icons so we can use Font Awesome sort icons for our program. To use Font Awesome icons we need to add the reference to the site so let's open index.cshtml and add the link to the style sheet name.all.css from the location fontawesome.com. The location is boxed green in the video. Now above the name column head add an i anchor tag. i anchor tag is for icons. Add 
class equals to view data of sort icon name. Save some time. I have copied the sort icon name from the unit controller.cs and pasted here. Then open the unit controller.cs, locate the index action method, and inside the index action method in the default case block, which is boxed in green, insert the view data of sort icon name and assign the value fk fa dash arrow dash down. This is the font of some CSS class code to display the down arrow icon. Now copy the view data variable sort param name and then go to the name underscore disc case block to paste the view data variable sort icon name and assign the value fa fa dash arrow dash up. This is the font of some CSS class code to display the up arrow icon. Now build and run the application. Click the units menu and notice now the font of some icon is displayed. Since the list is sorted in the ascending order by name, the down icon is displayed near to the name column head. Likewise, when we click the name head again, the font of some up icon is displayed near to the name column head. Let's click the name head few times to check the sorting feature. And then let's add the font of some icon to description column head also. Go to the unit controller.cs and from the index method copy the view data of sort icon desc variable. And then open the index.cshtml and copy the icon tag from the name column head and insert the copied icon tag above the description column tag. Then change the view data variable name to sort icon desc in the pasted code. Now the sort icon is added to the sort icon desc also. Now open the unit controller.cs and in the index action method copy the sort icon name view data variable from the name underscore desc case block and paste it to the description underscore desc case block. Then change the variable name in the pasted code to sort icon desc. Now copy the view data variable sort icon desc from the description underscore desc and paste it to the description case block. And change the font of some class to fk fa dash arrow dash down in the pasted code. Now we are done with the index method. Let's build and run the application. Click the units menu to load the units testing page. Click the description column head. Notice now the sort icon is displayed near the description column head and if we again click the description column head the sort icon is getting changed from down arrow to up arrow. And when we click the name column head, the icon moves to the name column. And if we click the description column head, the icon moves to the description column. Now the sorting code is working fine, but I am not done with it. I told you in the beginning that this is an object oriented sorting program. So let's work towards that. Right click the models folder and add new class and name the class file as sortmodel.cs to create the sort model class. Now our objective is to move all sorting related code to this sort model class. Add two properties to the sort model class. The first property of type string and name this property as sort property. And second property of type sort order and name it as sorted order. Let's rename our first property also to sorted property. Then open the unique controller.cs and in the index method declare a variable named sort model of type sort model. Then delete the variables named sort order and sort property from the index method and in the name underscore case block replace the sort order with sort model dot sort order and sort property with sort model dot sorted property. 
and then replace all the instances of sort order to sort model dot sort order and sort property to sort model dot sorted property. I have done this process in 32x speed to save some time. And in the underscore unit report dot get items method also change the sort property to sort model dot sorted property and sort order to sort model dot sorted order. Let's build and run the application. Click the name column head and description column head. Yes, the program is working fine after adding the sort model class also. So let's continue to code still some miles to go. Before moving the sorting code to the sort model class, let's first move the sorting code out of the index action method. So create a private method named apply sort which accepts sort expression as string and returns the sort model class. Select the code of index method from line 1 to the line above the underscore unit report dot get items method and cut the selected lines then paste them to the apply sort method and return the sort model in the apply sort method. Then in the index action method declare a variable of type sort model and assign sort model variable equals to apply sort of sort expression. Basically, we are passing the sort expression to the apply sort method and receiving the sort model which is passed to the get items. Now notice the index method. The code becomes just three lines. Let's build and run the application. Click the units menu to load the unit listing page and verify the sorting feature by clicking on the column head of name and description columns. Yes, the sorting feature is working good. Next, the biggest task is to move this apply sort method to the sort model class. But don't worry, we can easily do that. Now we will convert this sorting code to oops method and finally we will move to a shared class library project. First, let's add one more class named sortable column. This class is going to be very helpful. From here, the code is going to be very interesting and little complicated. So, please pay attention and follow on. In the sortmodel.cs, add a public class named sortable column with three properties. First property of type string and named column name and second property named sort expression of type string. Then the third property named sort icon of type string as well. These three properties are going to help us to do the magic. Now in the sort model class add a private generic list of type sortable column. Notice this is a private list and it is very important. Add a public method named add column. This method is used to add the column to the sortable column list. In here, we are attempting to retrieve the column from the sortable columns list by passing the column name to the where clause of the link statement. Then check tmp variable for null. If it is null, then create a column with column name with the call name parameter and add it to the sortable columns list. Notice that the add column method restricts duplicate entries. Add an other method named get column. This get column method receives the column name as parameter and returns the requested column if it exists in the sortable columns list. If it does not exist, then it creates a new column in that name and returns that new column. We are almost done with this sort model. Now we need to bring the apply sort method to the sort model class. Open the unit controller and cut the apply sort method from the unit controller and then paste it to the sort model class. Then after change the scope of the method to public. Of course it will show lot of errors but no worries we will fix all the errors. First, comment the view data codes from the apply sort method because this apply sort method is now moved to a separate class and 
we will not have access to view data in this class. Then set default values for the sort icon and sort description of name column and description column. At the moment this apply sort method can handle sorting only for this project since we hot coded the column names. But don't worry we will make it as a generic sort later in this video. And then copy the green boxed code and paste it in the name underscore DESC case block. After that change the sort icon of the pasted code to fa fa dash arrow dash up and comment both the view data variables. Again copy the green boxed code and paste it to the default case block and change the sort icon value to fa fa dash arrow dash down and sort expression to name underscore desc and comment the view data variables. Then copy the green box code from default case block and paste it to the description case block and change the column name to description for both sort icon and sort expression and change the sort icon value to fa fa dash arrow dash up and sort expression to description underscore desc. Then paste the copied text to the description underscore desc case block also and then do the necessary changes as shown in the video. I have aligned the code by removing unwanted blank lines so that the code block inside the switch statement looks legible. Then after open the unit controller.cs and in the index method comment the apply sort of controller. Then declare and initialize the sort model of type sort model class. Now add the name and description property to the sort model class by calling the add column method of sort model class. Then call the apply sort method of the sort model class with sort expression as parameter. This is very important line so please pay attention. Now assign this sort class to the view data variable named sort model. Save the application. It is always better to save at regular intervals to avoid loss of work and then open the index.cshtml. Declare a variable named sort model of type sort model class. Then assign sort model variable equals to view data of sort model. Note there is an error indicator line below the view data. This comes because view data cannot do implicit type conversion. So we must do the explicit conversion to sort model. After that let's go to the icon tags. In the name column head sort icon change the class of i tag to sort model dot get column of name dot sort icon. Next change the asp dash root dash sort expression value of name column head to sort model dot get column of name dot sort expression. Likewise do the same steps to description column head also. I mean change the description column head icon to sort model dot get column of description dot icon and description column sort expression root data value to sort model dot get column of description dot sort expression. Now save and run the application to verify. Oh error. I guess I made a mistake. Let me check and fix the error offline and will tell you what is the error. Ok I found the error. Actually we copied this apply sort method from the unit controller.cs and then we changed to fit in the sort model class. But in the sort model class we should change the method return type to void because it is not going to return anything from this method. So we will change all the occurrences of sort model dot to this dot in the apply sort method as shown. Now let's save and run the application. Now the application has loaded properly because the errors are fixed. Let's check the sort functionality by clicking on the column heads. 
Now the code is reusable as it is kept inside a class. That's the beauty of object oriented programming. But don't go away. I am not done yet. Please wait. Now we want to make this sort model as generalized one so that we can use it in any project. As a first step we will add two private variables named up icon and down icon. Here we will store the CSS classes needed to show the up and down icons. And then inside the apply sort method replace the CSS class far far dash arrow dash down with down icon and far far dash arrow up with up icon. Then in the add column method add one more parameter named is default column with the default value as false. Then insert a conditional block inside the add column method. This block will check is the past column is default column or is the past column is first column. If either of this condition is true then we will set the sort property to past column name sort order equals to ascending. Then from the apply sort method delete the first four commented lines which is green in color. And then comment the lines which are inside the green box. Then check is the past sort expression is empty or blank string. If the condition is true then set the sort expression to this dot sorted property. I mean to the default column or first in case if the default column is not passed. Then convert sort expression equals to sort expression dot to lower because in the case block of the switch statement we are comparing the sort expression with the lower case of the column names. Then this is an important line so please pay attention. We are adding for each loop with sortable column as loop variable which will iterate through all the items of this dot sortable columns. Inside the loop set the loop variable sortable column dot sort icon equals to empty string. Then set the sortable column dot sort expression to sortable column dot column name. Basically here we are first setting the default values to the loop variable sortable column. Then add a conditional block which will check the sort expression with the sortable column dot column name. And then cut the quotes from the description case block and paste it inside the conditional block which we just made. After that change this dot sorted property equals to sortable column dot column name. And then change this dot get column of description dot sort icon to sortable column dot sort icon and assign it to down icon. Now change the this dot get column of description dot sort expression to simply sortable column dot sort expression. After that assign sortable column dot sort expression equals to sortable column dot column name and append the string underscore DESE. Then copy the if condition line and paste it below. And then append underscore DESE with the sortable column dot column name. Oh I forgot one step. We must add to lower to both the if conditions because we have already converted our sort expression to its lower case. Then only the condition will match. Now copy all code from the description underscore DESC case block. Then paste the copied code to the newly added if block. And then change the this dot get column of description dot sort icon to sortable column dot sort icon and assign the value up icon to it. 
and then change the this dot get column of description dot sort expression to simply sortable column dot sort expression. Then delete the complete switch block code. We don't need that now. And also remove all unwanted blank lines from apply sort method and align it properly. Then build the application. Oh errors. The application failed to build because I have made some errors in the apply sort method I think. Let's check and fix it. At the time of aligning the code of apply sort method, I mistakenly deleted one curly bracket which is a required one and that missing curly bracket is creating the build errors. Now I have fixed that issue. Let's build again. That's great. The project has builded successfully. Let's run the application to check the object oriented sorting feature. Let's click the column heads name and description few times. Yes, the object oriented sorting feature is working fine. Please see the complete code of this sort model class. I will slowly scroll and show you the complete code. In case anyone wants to copy, please pause and take the screenshot. Still, I am not done. The sorting codes are moved to the sort model class. But I want to move this complete sorting codes to a separate class library project and wanted to refer that class library DLL from this project. Let's see how to do that. Click file and select add new project. In here, select the class library project and click next. Now give the project name as tools. I am planning to keep all the common functionalities as class files in this project. And click next button. Then select .NET 5.0 as the target framework and click create. Then copy the sortmodel.cs and paste it in the tools project. After that, delete the sortmodel.cs file from the inventory beginners project. Then delete class.cs file from the tools project. So now the sortmodel.cs is moved to the tools project. But we need to do some small corrections in the sortmodel.cs as we moved it to the tools project. Then cut the sort order enum from the inventory beginners project and paste it in the sortmodel.cs file of the tools project. And then change the namespaces of sortmodel class to codes by anis.tools. Since this project is going to be common and shared by many future projects, it is better to have a different relative namespace. Then build the application. We got few build errors, but these are expected ones, so no need to worry. Let's read and fix those. These errors came because of the change of namespace. Now the sort model class is in the codes by anis.tools namespace, so include the codes by anis.tools namespace wherever it is required. Include the codes by anis.tools namespace in the using section of the unit controller.cs. Now the errors are reduced. Only it is showing two errors. Let's see what it is. Then open the unit model file iunit.cs and include the codes by anis.tools namespace in the using section as well. And build the application. Still one error is left to get fixed. Let's see and fix it. This time the error is from the view file. Open the index.cs html inside the unit folder which is inside the views folder and include the codes by anis.tools namespace in the using section and also don't forget to include the add symbol before the using keyword 
because this is a view file we must add a at prefix before any server side code now try to build the application wow finally it has built it successfully let's run the application and click the units menu to load our units listing page now the units listing page is loaded let's click the column heads name and description couple of times yes it is working fine remember the sort functionality is loaded from the tools project now I have opened the DB first crud application I am going to add the sort functionality to my DB first crud in case you have joined my channel only now please watch my DB first crud tutorial the video link is available in the description let's run the application this is my DB first crud application it has many features like search pagination and a beautiful UI with more than 12,000 records let's stop the application and open the customer control.cs to implement the sort functionality copy the builded tools.dll from the bin folder create a folder named references inside the dbfscrud project folder or whichever project you wants to include this sorting functionality paste the tools dll to references folder which we just created right click the dbfscrud solution and click add and select and click project reference then click browse and locate the references folder in the folder browse dialog and select the tools.dll and then click ok and then open the customer controller.cs then copy the sorting code from the index method of unit controller of inventory bigness project and paste it to the index method of customer controller.cs of the db first crud project notice the error indicator below the sort model this error comes because we have not included the codes by anis.tools in the using section so click show potential fixes and click using codes by anis.tools then add the sort expression to the index action method parameters section notice after adding the sort expression to the parameter section the error got disappeared now of the recording I have added all the column names to the sort model class please notice the code which is boxed in green color these are the codes I added of the recording then open the index.cshtml from the customers folder inside the views folder include the codes by anis.tools in the using section declare a variable named sort model of type sort model and assign it to the view data of sort model please refer to the code boxed in the green now copy the column head code of the name column from the index.cshtml of inventory beginner project and then paste the copied code from the clipboard to the first column head of index.cshtml of db first crud project then in the pasted code change all occurrences of the word name to customer id and then copy all the code of customer id column head and paste it to the first name column head then in the pasted code change all the occurrences of the word customer id to first name likewise do the same for all the column heads for which you want sorting option to be shown I have done this in the 32x speed just to save some time build and run the application yes the customers listing page is loaded but the sort icons did not display why 
Oh, I made a mistake. I forgot one important step. Open the index.cshtml of the inventory bigness project and copy the link reference path of font awesome CSS file and paste it in the index.cshtml file of dbfastcrud project and then build and run the application. Now notice the sort icon is displayed near to the customer ID column. Likewise when we click the first name the sort icon moves to the first name column head and it moves to the last name on clicking the last name column. So by this way we can easily implement the sorting functionality to any project with any number of column heads. This feature will be very useful when you are designing softwares with more than 10 columns. With this I am completing this video. Before I sign off I request you to subscribe and share this video. I would appreciate if you would like and subscribe to this channel so that you will be notified for all of the new videos that I will be posting. Thank you and bye for now.